tough emotions, feelings of inadequacy, you know, just all those things. We're going through it right now, guys. We're going through it. I'm feeling all the things right now. And yet I will persevere. I'm one damage off. You oughta. You oughta. Is the watcher balanced at the moment? Am I running my head against a wall that's not balanced? I think I am never gonna... I, I like this. I'm never gonna say that... I can't judge the class right now because I know for a fact I made a lot of mistakes. And I'm gonna try, we had a d decent go of it as well with the um we had a decent go of it with the what's it called the duality weave thing so I, I can never put the blame on the, the class here Calculated. Um, I'm not the brightest man sometimes. Jeremy, that's all the time. Listen here, buddy. Listen here. I'm just playing this bad. Yeah, I think I am. Hmm. What's up, uh, Chasby? God damn. Sorry, guys. I want. I want to scrub it. I, I want to. I want a new go of it. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. You know, I, I didn't realize that Indignation puts you in Wrath form. Uh, I'll be honest, I didn't realize that. I did not realize that. I'm good, man. I plan on coming back on YouTube. I do plan on coming back. I've just been, um... I mean, I took a total hiatus. I've just recently been, like, I think it's like seven days straight now on, on Twitch. And that's, that's a good sign. Because I was on a total hiatus from all content. So I will come back. That's good damage. That's some good damage right there, but uh, <laughs> we're going to die otherwise. That's some good damage right there, guys. All right, it'd be really cool if I could do indignation, saints of time, and then vigilance. Unfortunately, I can only do indignation, vigilance. But we will get our moment to shine. We will get our moment to shine. Don't you worry. It's coming next turn. It's happening next turn. Right now. Right now. Here's the moment. Here's the moment. Here's the moment. Here it is. Singing boy. I like it. I like it. Uh, cut through fate. I do want to get max HP, but this game. We're going to get a free heal at the shop here, so we're going to go ahead and upgrade that easy. 
Hey, what's up? Ahoy, Kite. I'm good, man. I'm good, Chasmy. How you doing? Incense burner. Huge. All right. Let's try to bring this together. All right. Let's try to bring this together now. We got a smooth stone. We got removal. Put a card from the bottom of your hand to the bottom of your draw power cost zero until played. Smooth stone and removal. We also have collect. If you're in calm, you gain five block. Let's go. All right, guys. What are we looking for? Watch your stone beta. Yeah, what's up, unicorn? Eh, I don't mind it. Now, whenever there's a doubt of it should be in wrath form, you have the beautiful, magnificent wallop to carry you. Case in point, here's wallop yet again, showing itself to be a fantastic card. Today, I, I woke up kind of late. My schedule's been kind of bad, so I woke up kind of late. Let me, let me tell you what's going on here. We have 42 damage. Well, damn. I'll be damned. I wanted to do 42 on this guy, but I also want to protect my life total. So yeah, today I woke up kind of late and then I went and ran some errands by, well, I took care of my dogs, ran some errands like, what did I do? I didn't really run errands. I guess that's uh, not the best way to put it. I went and got some food, went to the store, and then I came here, I guess. Not much, to be honest. I didn't do a lot today. It's pretty uh, late already. Well, it's like 7, 7 p.m. Yes. Okay. Turnip. Turnip and warp tongues. I like it. I mean, it's late to be streaming. Yeah, you know, I would, I'd rather start earlier, but it's all good. These are all decent cards, but this is my my block, two or force. What's up, Mr. Lem? I'm good. All right, here we go. Here we go. I just realized I really don't want pain in my deck. Can someone stop this pain? I'm in wrath form and I like it. All right, in two turns we're gonna have incense. Oh, ho, ho, shit. That's impressive. That is an impressive amount of damage. I should have done indignation, to be honest. All right, now is the time where we want to get out of this. No? Ah, no, we're good, actually. We're good, we're good, we're good. Because we're going to do scenes of time. I guess we're just never getting out of this. Drink it right here, right in the spot. Ah, okay. That sucks. It's a potion there. Vault Scrawl Omniscience. Yes, exactly. You often go to bed at that time, Rose? Damn. You must be waking up really early. You know, it's not too bad. With daylight savings, waking up early is the new craze now. 
because it's so dark later early on. Omni's so good. Choose a card from draw, play it twice, and exhaust it. What are the targets for omniscience here? Sands of Time, Wallop. Okay, those are decent targets, I'll be honest. Wallop and Sands of Time are pretty good targets. But there's also the chance I don't get energy, but like, I think Vault is really good. Because we're kind of sitting in Wrath form. I like to go to the gym when it's empty. Ah, I see, I see. Why do you like, do you, is it because you like to hog the squat rack or you don't like the people giving you attention or whatever? Waking up and doing workout first thing in the morning. I haven't done that, but, hmm. How is you? I'm good, Audrey, what's up? I like a vault. But admission does have good targets. I'm going vault. Can no longer smith. Hey, we have warp tongues. Do we care? Bros, you live in like a really busy area? Middle of Manhattan, smack in the middle. I used, to, I used to live there. I used to live in a place in New York where I had to like do sets on the squat rack in between people. I would like walk up to some guy and be like, hey man, can I do some sets in between with you? That's how packed it was. Can no longer smith. Yeah, sure. Intense burners and plaster stones, perhaps consideration, but uh, nah. in busy suburbs. It's a possibility. Is he, uh, he he understands. He's the, the number one self-deprecating comic on the internet. Let's remove pain, right? And let's go for all the elites. I love it. Remove pain, all the elites. Sound like a plan? Indignation, yes. Okay, so we could do vault if everything doesn't end up proper, right? Indignation. Who's the, the biggest guy we want to kill first? I mean, he has the most life. A lot of choices. Let's do this guy. And vault. Nice. We have wallop. Uh, do I stream for another job? Well, probably no, I do not. If the last card you play was a skill, draw two cards. So yeah, like I was, I was doing uh, YouTube and streaming for full time, and then I took a big hiatus. Trying to get back into it full time. It's just block and draw two cards. What do you guys think about Sanity? Where is the bestie? Do? Where is your best friend? Is that what you're asking me? Happy flower, I like. Ah, thank you. Who, where, where? I like tantrum. Happy flower, remove, let's remove pain. Before we get crazy, remove this. Oh, can't do anything now, okay. Eh, fair enough. Fair enough. Empty fist, remove to get out of your stance. I think... That might be useful. We don't have enough ways to get out of stances. If you guys realize, we're kind of sticking in wrath form and staying there, which is okay because we have wallop. How about this? Let's try being a small deck with wallop. See how that goes.
That's a lot of wasted energy. Jesus Christ. I don't have enough damage. Since this time gets cheaper as you hold it in your hand, which is quite nice. So you have a lot of Germans in here, or are you guys just know German offhand? All I know is Das Hund unter einem uh, das Flugzeug. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but uh, that's something I learned. If I want to get into Twitch, you do put that. What point would it be about? like? To, oh, okay. Profitable? Yeah. So this is a good question. That's a good question, and I'll talk about this. I think to be profitable on YouTube and Twitch is, is, is harder than you think. And also, yeah, I don't think going into it for money is not the right approach because, put it this way, when I was doing Slay the Spider videos, Slay the Spider videos every single day or like nearly daily, and my videos on YouTube are getting 10 to 15,000 per video, right? That point is profitable. Like you can make some profit off that because there's a couple of factors like AdSense, the amount of watch time people watching your videos, the, you know, things like that. There's a whole bunch of there's algorithms, there's all these things. But I would say at the baseline, like 10 to 15,000 views per video and you're doing a lot of output of content on YouTube, that's like the baseline profitable. And from there, it only gets better. And I think for Twitch, it's like, hey, whatever you find considered to be comfortable for you but uh with twitch you definitely need it's really important you build your core audience and you try to have subscribers and you work on that which i've really have let that go because i haven't streamed for so long that i've lost a lot of my core audience so that's something you got to build up and the numbers vary it depends on what you find is profitable i would say youtube is more profitable than twitch but there's a trade-off at some point anyways that's all that's that's my my stance on the uh that conversation. Conclude, carve reality. I like conclude, because we need AOE. Indignation. Vault. Wait, we can't do vault now? No, is this, I'm drawing cards, aren't I? Wouldn't it be nice if I can draw a vault right now? It's so good for this fight. Damn, feels bad, man. Well, keep in mind, 10 to 15,000 videos as pushing out daily content. Now, that's just baseline. I mean, my, some of my videos will get more than that, more than 10 to 15,000 views. And then you also keep in mind, I have long videos. Right? So, the longer the video, the more ads and more money you potentially can make from that. And that's just baseline. There's a lot of factors. It's, it's, not, it's not super cut and dry. Foreign influence, baby. Well, yeah, some of my videos were getting, like, like some of my Slate Spire videos would get more than the uh, 15,000. But I'm just saying, like, imagine, like, a daily barrage of videos that are getting upwards of 10,000 or more. And, the, like, like, again, kid-friendly. Now, now there's a whole new YouTube thing where it's, like, kid-friendly, uh, advertiser-friendly. It's always been advertiser-friendly, but kid-friendly is a new thing, which is really changing the way things are monetized. The length of the video, the mid-rolls, uh... The engagement, the, the watch time. I mean, there's a lot of things. I don't, I don't want to bore you guys to death. But, um... What was I going to say? <sighs> Fuck. I forgot what I was going to say. I had something in mind. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff, guys. It's a crazy game out there. Each and premium effects revenue. Um... Foreign influence, hell yeah. No, I'm not sure. 
<laughs> Kid friendly, and then I say fuck. <laughs> Ooh, Ragnarok, hell yes. Indignation. Saints of time. Conclude. I like Wrath Form. Is it is it is it the uh Is Wrath Form gonna be the end all be all? Can I win the game with this? Probably not. Is it nice right now? Sure it is. Sash whip. If the last card you play was an attack, you get weakened. I do want weakened, but is this the weakened we're looking for? Probably not. Try what? I think this would be fun too, and I'd like to know. I, oh, you want to like change the name of the game and try to speak German words? I could do that one day. Yeah, we'll do a, we'll do a stream where I change the, the language of the game and try to... Not right now, but yeah, I could do that one day for sure. I want to try French as well. Alright, so we're not going to go for the weekend right now. I'm going to get more max HP. Ooh, I just realized we have no upgrades. Right. So if I happen to take a massive hit right now. I'm not going to be super offended. Also, this is quite risky. I need to ask you guys. You think it's worth it to go back to calm mode? Or nah? Yeah. I think it is. Because we can get back into Wrath in a second, right? Like right now. See? See? And now it all makes sense. Does it make sense? I'm not quite sure, actually. He's hitting me for this much, and I, totally, I suddenly lost what makes sense. And nah, We're going to do Wallop for sure. That's just a no-brainer. We want to draw Indignation again. It's not too much damage here. We're forced to rest. It's not too bad. I mean, forcing to rest for 4 HP feels really bad. That's why, that's why I want to take more damage. Forcing to rest for 4 HP feels bad. This is why I'm taking more to the face. Because I want him to, I want the rest to be worth it. You know what I mean? And it's for this reason alone I'm taking this big hit to the face. Just so you guys are aware. Now the rest feels okay. Alright, now I'm happy about it. Okay. Deal 5 damage. Whenever you gain, whenever you attack this enemy, gain 2 block. Okay, that seems kind of decent. I, I really like this. I think this is a really nice attack. A tantrum is really good as well, though. I have a very special place in my heart for this card. What I'm noticing right now is we have way too much Wrath Form. Like the ability to get into Wrath Form. Not enough. We don't have enough ability to get out of forms or stances, right? And we don't have the ability to get into Calm easily. So if I do Tantrum, I feel like I'm way too Wrath-centered and not Exit and Calm-centered. Try to this one. I will think about it, sure. I think Talk to the Hand kind of shores up some of my weaknesses, which is Block. That is my final verdict. All right. I want to go for Big Sparkle. Wish me luck. Is this worth taking, guys? Look, on a fight, if everything is going smoothly, and if you really only are depending on this, it takes 10 turns for you to see a turn out. Now imagine, you have the stone calendar, and instead of 7 turns, it's now 10. Just so to speak, you know? It's cool if like, you have some things with... Is the echo still bad? I don't know. I tried fixing the echo. I, that's just the way it is right now. I'll do more stuff off stream to try to fix it. it might just be the acoustics of the room right now. Because I don't have... It's kind of an empty room. <laughs> I'm going to take the sapphire. All right, let's go. Entering Wrath right now. So that's like an effect on a real echo, really. No, I don't have no... I mean, tell me that makes a difference. I have no effects right now. I mean, keep in mind, I go. this thing goes through a digital mixer. 
Some people, some people hate echoes, some people don't. Is it worth upgrading all this? I don't think so. Reverb? Okay, th yeah, I think then might be, maybe there's reverb. And that's just the way that the mic is right now. Like, for instance, if I have no dry input, or if I give you dry input for my mic, let me show you, I'll show you in a second. Wait, this is, real quick, this is gonna be 14 per. I hear very small one. Fuck. One second. This is gonna hurt. the worst time to get that. There's a shit ton of damage, my god. Uh, that's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the room. The room is just empty room right now. It's pretty sure it's the room. Okay, we got Fall Up, Bowling Bash, or we have Weave. Oh, like, I'm sure there's something I can do. Yo, AFK Triangle, thank you for the tier 1 subscription, bro. Welcome, welcome to the germ pool. Use those two emotes, or three emotes, loud and proud. When you talk louder is the only reason it's... It's more... The more it's more reason... Okay, so when I talk loud, the room starts saying, Hey, hey, I, Okay, here's what I think I want to do. Real quick. I'm going to look for the fuck you echo button on this mixer. If I can't find that, we're just going to let it be for now. The chances of them having that, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't see it. So I want to let it be for now. We have we follow up and we have bowling bash. So I already wish they could have a room that produces sounds like an amphitheater. <laughs> it sounds like an amphitheater, Jesus. Reset to default. Okay, look. I'm very curious. I'm gonna try this, guys. I'm gonna try this is dry input. You ready? This should be a live test. YouTube videos are the only reason I've been able to win any games. Hey and welcome, man. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. This should be dry input, guys. This is dry input. How does this sound? Dry input. I'm pretty sure this is just all dry now. Sounds the same? Really? <laughs> what? The, wait, what? Basically the same. Alright, now this is less dry. I don't know. This, look, if you guys if you guys want, and you guys maybe know this better than me, here's what I'm using. I'll, I'll be very transparent. Here's what I'm using, all right? I'm using PodFarm 2. The thing that I have is a TunePort UX2 from Line 6. Line 6 TunePort UX2. I'm using PodFarm 2. And it's not exclusively vocals. It has a lot of guitar amps and different things and digital things for guitars and stuff like that, but it also has vocal settings. And I, I set it up in a very basic way just with some compression, and I have a preamp, a compression, and I think it has some reverb, right? But aside from that, I don't know. I think, I really just think it's the room I'm in. What the fuck? You're trolling me, Kama. We're good. I like this. Hell yes. Yes, 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 yes.
All right, this is where I can't really go in wrath form right now. Why am I supposed to take this card? Is it because it says die next turn? Is that like a valid reason to be scared of this card? I don't know. It's kind of scary. Die next turn. I mean, they're, not, they're not really... Um, hmm. Alright, so if we take this relic, we can't get frail. Right? And then we get max HP. I feel like if there was ever a time to take a curse, it's because of this. Right or wrong? I mean, there's still the, the downside of having the curse in your draw pile. And that could mess me up. Considering I'm so wrath form heavy that having bad draws is probably lethal. Since I'm always in wrath form, I'm always angry. Lizard to work out the blasphemy? Probably, but my lord, that's, that's an interaction I never want to have to come to. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to play this blasphemy, and Lizard Tail's going to save me. I pinned him. Okay, cool. Alright, guys. We also have the Steamboat Ancient Tea Set, whatever it is. It looks like a Steamboat, but it's also a Tea Set. Enter Wrath Form. I really want to draw a sense of time, but... Okay, I can't draw into this right now. This man's out of control. Wallop. Vitamins. Cool. What's up, Virtual Dagger? I should have tried to make you stack up against the other units. I just got you recently. I'm gonna get, you, I'm gonna get rid of you right now. What's our game plan here, actually? What's our game plan? I can think of one thing. We do Vulnerable with Indignation. And with all that anger and all that might, we stand to time, smack his face up, and then rinse repeat the next turn. One thing for sure, though, is we're going to get rid of... You want to get talk to the hand. That's very good. I do want to hold on to Protect. Protect's like my best block, so I will do this. I also kind of want to upgrade talk to the hand. How greedy can I be here? Do I try to let Talk to the Hand get upgraded by the, the Warp Tongs? It's unlikely, right? Let's get it out of the way now. This is more like it. Foreign Influence. So Bludgeon is going to be a big boy. I would like to be in Wrath from right about now. We also have Pendant. That's very good to consider with Indignation since the time. Alright, so we have all the tools we need to win this, actually. We're totally fine. We've got all the tools, guys. Alright. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Indignation... Ah, fuck me. I would have wished this was Eruption and then Indignation next turn. What is the pliers really? This is called Warp Tongue, so at every start of your turn, you get upgrade a random card for the rest of the combat. Yeah, YouTube is going... There's a lot of stuff going on with YouTube, 100%. Guys, it's harder than ever to make it on social media, I feel like. It's kind of weird. It's like, there's both a lot of options, but there's also a lot of saturation, right? I have a, I have a suggestion. I wouldn't do this personally, because I'm nearly a boomer. But I'll tell you what. If you want to try TikTok, try it. 
do it for us. That, honestly, that's a really big, that's a really big, um, really big platform right now. If you can stomach it and that's what you want, you know, hey, it's worth a shot. I'm nearly a boomer. I'm not quite a boomer. I'm in the middle. Okay, boomer. <laughs> I um. Short form comedy. Short form. Is, I mean, look, we're in we're in a short form mentality in this day and age. It's like anything short form, we're like we eat it all up. And the kids are always gonna love that. In fact, my audience is generally older on YouTube because of my videos are so long, right? So, the the YouTube out thing is usually like condensed, edited, you know, stuff like that. And I tried doing that at first. Okay, so indignation, right? We have to be in Wrathroom at some point. But is right now the time? We have Vigilance coming up. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I messed up. I just realized that I'm gonna be vulnerable and weakened here. So I, I really did mess up. But we also have this is gonna coming up. Okay, okay. Um I need to the vulnerable is gonna suck. I need to survive right now. Is there a world in which we're doing bludgeon? No, no, no. Definitely not that world. But next year we're okay to do damage, right? This is fine. This is fine. Now we pop off. We do eruption, indignation. Wait, that's our only two vulnerable stuff, right? Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. It's kind of unfortunate. How much damage do I take? 60, right? 60? All right, hear me out. Here's what we're doing, boys. You ready? Buckle up. Settle in. We're going for a ride. What's your sense of time? What the hell is our sense of time? There it is. Whenever a card is retained, reduce its cost by one this combat. Second vault, well, take an extra turn, end your turn. Or scroll. Well, I think establishment is pretty cool, right? Because it doubles the scaling or the time to play the Sands of Time. It also makes Protect better. So it has Protect. It's got Sands of Time. And then it's got whatever foreign influence wants to give us. And that's it. And then the alternative is vault number two, which is pretty damn good because we are stuck in vault uh, wrath form a lot. That buys us time to s scale up sense of time. It also buys us time. It's a lot of time, damn. Buys us time for um, wallop because wallop is really good wrath form. Mmm. Down with the establishment. You can no longer gain potions. Transform three cards and upgrade them. You know, I don't have upgrades, so this is kind of tempting. Goodbye strikes, hello cards, or five energy. I don't think we need five energy. I kind of want to do Astrolab. What about Pan uh, Pandora's box here? 
too crazy, right? We do. We still want our defense cards because we do have smooth stone. So I'm doing this. One, two. Now, what is a bad, bad boy here? What do we not like? You. Got prostate. We got another wallop. Yo, that's really, really big with our wrath form shenanigans. And then we have signature move. This can only be played if it's the only attack in your hands. Deal 40 damage. All right, boys and girls. I'm going against the time meter. Now, I'm still in the process of getting my, my mushy, mushy brain, figuring out the watcher. I do not have the answers yet, Sway. I do not have the answers yet, Sway, but I'm figuring it out. Why would I transform? Not because tra I didn't transform shame because we got turn up. So if I transform shame, I'm get a worse curse because shame is the best curse at the moment. It's a really good curse for us. If that makes any sense. Um, mmm. Wow. Well, fuck. Shit. Indignation. Ooh, hi. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. Uh, okay. I like this. Let's upgrade this bad boy. Oh, wait. F I didn't realize that was a thing. Uh, fuck. Now I'm a little bit salty. Still fine. I can still play this as the only attack in my hand? Okay, first, sure, why not? Easy. And that's just me and you, buddy. You know what I'm gonna do with you? I am gonna save the time your ass. And that's gonna happen right about now. So protect that smack. And then we're gonna hit a shop. We're gonna get a nice little heal from the shop. This is the ability to exit my stance. I dare say that's pretty important, guys. I dare say that's pretty damn important. We don't have enough exit and enough calm. Enter. But there's also max HP, you know? There's empty fist and then there's max HP. And I really like the max HP here. All right, give us the healing. Empty body, I will probably take though. That is pretty damn good. Also, we need a source of weaken and Shash Whip keeps coming up as the only source of weaken. And then inner peace does enter calm. And in the event that it doesn't enter calm, it gives us card draw. So these are things that we like. Entering calm, card draw, exiting stances. So bam, bam. I'm also inclined to think I don't need to remove the curse. Yes, it affects my draws. My draws. But it also is 125 to remove it. And that's just like too much money. You know what I mean? Inner Peace is the only wild card here. It's like entering calm and the card draw. How can I utilize that? At the start of your turn, add a smite. I like that. I do like adding smites. It works pretty well with pendant. I can control the pendant a little bit better. Nah, but I like the. Nah, I don't need it. I don't need it. I love discovery, guys. That could be really nice. Discovery can give us all the things we want and then some. I'm just biased toward Discovery. What's up, Ryu Dizzy? Oh my lord, the questions. So many questions. I think we leave the frail, sure. The deck is small that we're seeing this pretty often, so. If we were to remove it, we are left with 164. OK. 
Okay. Wish I can divide into these two. What about these relics, though? Anchor's pretty good. Buy more cards means you yes, exactly. If I buy more cards, I see the curse less. That's true. Uh, I think the ability to enter exit my stance is really useful. I really do think I'm gonna need that. Or do we really like how our deck is operating? Like we have two wallops, so wallop is our source of block. But I, I can't unironically stay in wrath form. I just can't do that. Like yes, wallop is 24 block. And if you and if they're vulnerable, it's even more block. Transmutation, uh, add X random colors cards. They cost zero. I can never, I can never buy that for two six thirteen. Never, never, never. It might just be discovery empty inner piece. It might be the play. But I know somebody's out there who's smart, and they're saying just remove the shame. And they're probably one hundred percent right. Guys, yeah, this game has a lot of choices, man. I'm trying not to go into the think tank here, but I'm I'm entering think tank mode. Is Zindi here? I need Zindi's advice. Zindi, are you here? Zindi, wake up. Uh, when, when you start team, what advantages? Uh, well, one advantage is you support me. You get some emotes, and you're just a generally nice guy who's supporting me. I do want to get more emotes, and I, I do plan that. I do have emotes in a list. I've already formulated the list. So that's going to come eventually. Sooner rather than later. Yeah, exactly. We, we can remove empty body your piece. I know, I know, I know. Fuck. That's what I was leaning towards, and that's what we're doing. Let's not talk about it. Yo, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Hey, speaking of Twitch Prime, I mean, you chose the right one to use because, you know, you get a free sub every month. So it's not bad. It also doesn't auto renew. I thought I killed that man. Um, fuck. I thought he was dead. Holy bananas. Guys, we are about to get Ritual Dagger. Yeah, ritual Dagger is insane. We should upgrade that. Gain one Ritual. Speaking of Rituals. So Protect is really good, right? We need more block. That's a really good card. Weave is not good enough. Yeah, so we'll take protect. Now I really want to get establishment. This is something I probably could do. This is an official character. An official character in the beta branch. It's official fourth character coming out soon. Oh, I can't say soon. I don't know when it's coming out. Do we have a command for this? Boom, there we go. There it is. Alright, so we have a decent amount of damage to handle this, right? Yes, yes we do. Ritual Dagger. Oof, I wish I can use it. The now is not the time, is it? Mmm. I want to enter Wrath, not Peace. Yes, I am always angry, that is my secret. We'll come back to Ritual Dagger. That was a really bad time to draw all those cards. Really bad time. Okay, these are good. We These are good cards. Except for the fact that... Uh, except for the fact that I'm not doing any damage this turn. Lord have mercy. I have no strikes in my deck, right? So, perfection strike is terrible. So, 
some really bad draws. And I can't do vaults and conclude at the same time, so even worse of a draw. So he's looking pretty bad right now. I would have loved for to do conclude here and then have instant sprinter. But we still have some plays. Like we have things like exit out of my stance, bowling bash. It's not the end of the world just yet. Boy, it was not the greatest. So you can kill this man. And we can save some life. Alright, I couldn't play the signature move. Okay. We talk to the hand. We can enter calm, then enter wrath, and talk to the hand, and then. I can't enter wrath in full block, right? That's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Ritual Dagger, I need you to come in huge right now, but you're not. You're not doing it to me. This is probably a mistake to do this, man. I mean, I think this fight could have went so much better, but okay, we can, we can, we have to rest, we can rest, this is fine. It's like, honestly, not that bad. Except, this turn is terrible. But, except for the fact that we do have... Pen Nib. Sense of time. So, it's actually probably better, guys, for me not to attack here. Because next turn, we have, potentially, Eruption, Sands of Time. Potentially. There's also the potential indignation. Something that. So, okay, I could attack here to help guarantee lethal. And then hopefully do indignation stands of time. Because if we do eruption stands of time, that feels really bad. What's more likely? There's actually a very situation. Uh, signature move is also a play, which I can't. Like, if we don't draw sense of time, then signature move is a play. Nah, but concludes a thing. Fuck, so signature move is never a play. Indignation and eruption are the same odds of being drawn. So if that's the case, then I'd probably do wall up here to guarantee lethal. Right? Why not just double wall up? Wait, why not just double wall up? That's 24 damage. Entry calm is better though, right? It gives me more energy. Wait, wait, wait. Am I, am I thinking about this all wrong? I can't depend on sense of times here, right? Entry calm gives me the energy, but I could also just do double wall up and then. Kill him with things like conclude and okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, I was overthinking it. Okay, now we have another. Now we have a reason to. Oh, that's really good. We can remove cards now. Whenever you change stances, gain six block. How often we change stances here? We're changing into wrath. Quite a bit. Are we getting out of wrath? With 
Empty body were getting out of wrath. Inner peace were getting out of wrath. With vigilance were getting out of wrath. We're getting into calm. I think mental Warrior is okay. War paint. Hey, you get more upgrades for free when I can't upgrade at all. So I can remove or I can rest. What do I remove here? I don't really have good remove targets, actually. I don't have good remove targets. I think Vigilance is pretty decent. You know, this peace pipe is not really the best for me. One for two leads. Hey. How sick would it be? If I do that first, then nothing matters. How sick would it be if we could actually do virtual dagger? I need retain. Indignation needs a double wallop. I'm weakened. That can't be good. Is it worth playing signature move here? Fuck. Let's see what our next scry is. Saints of time, protect. Alright. It's kind of lame to be honest. We get decent block here if I do eruption. We have pendant now. What's the best pendant maneuver? God damn signature move is nuts. I so badly Station move doesn't really work at all in this deck. You know, I guess this is a good time for me to get establishment. Some shitty, some shitty draws. My deck doesn't work very well. I, I kind, kind of just realized my deck kind of sucks. I mean, this is a decent turn. We're about to do a shit ton of damage. Is it lethal damage? I don't think so. And are we blocking for eighty? Six block. We're not blocking for 80. This is such a good turn if he wasn't attacking me for 40 right now. How to make a full diner be glad to hear it's not unusual by Tom Johns. I don't know. That's a very specific question. Can't block for full here. Is it worth just taking the hit and then resting? No idea, dude. I don't I don't want to take too long in this fight.
I mean, like I said, I could change stances and do stuff like that, but... Yeah, I could do eruption wallop stuff. Eruption indignation stances time wallop. It can't be that bad. Ritual dagger? Are we close? Hell yeah. Alright, rough deck man, rough deck. We got weakened, finally got the weakened. Finally got weakened. Alright guys, let's go. Sorry, that was just a tough fight, because my deck is kind of taking some- Ooh, Preserving Ticks is huge. My deck is having some trouble. Okay. This is a really awkward vault turn. In fact, the vault is uh, probably not to play right now. I do want to try to get Ritual Dagger though. Okay, Straight effects, we have to contend though. This is not going to be a thing. So let's just get it out of the deck. We are now in wrath form. Now we're back in calm. Did we take the calm or did we just... We let sense of time build up, right? 100%? We let it build up? We do not enter calm here? Foreign influence. Holy shit. Do we get orbs when we have foreign We don't get an orb, sorry. We, we discussed this. The, the the number one thing you gotta do with this uh, this class is you gotta pick a prismatic shard because that gives you an orb. So then you can take meteor strike or anything from the defect from foreign influence and use it unironically. So without prismatic shard, you're not getting the orb benefit and foreign influence is nerfed. I'm gonna ask for competition for another day. Have you played or watched this in over- haven't played- is this third act still the highest? No, there's now a fourth act. If you see in the top left, these are these little emblems. There's a fourth act, there's a heart, and there's also a fourth class. So yeah, there's that. We have a lot of damage. Wait, do we have lethal? What's the best way to do the most damage here? Oh, that wasn't the best way. <laughs> oh, whoops. I was trying to get more out of this, that's why. See, I was trying to get more out of Wallop. I blame it on that. Ritual Daggers. This is, this is calculated. We want which Ritual Dagger. That's the whole point. Ritual dagger, ritual dagger. Where is it? I already used it, right, 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 right. Ooh, so if I use this, okay, what's better? Power or versus explosive? Let's do the power. Yo, get here, what's up, man? How you doing? More inner peace so we can get into calm more often and or get card draw or max HP. Do we want to be able to get into calm more often? Let's try to have like a weird balance ratio because this I'm still learning this class, right? When I was learning the ironclad, I was trying to formulate the correct amount of scaling or whatever, whatever. So let's take a look. We have enter wrath, enter wrath. Okay, right? And then we have enter calm, 
and Chacom. And then we have a single exit stance right here. Um, so is there supposed to be a balance where you want to be able to enter calm more often than wrath or is there some synergy between double inner peace? You use it once and then you do it again and get card draw. I don't know how good that actually is. I mean, it is nice card draw. I guess trying to treat it like acrobatics. When I take a second, if I was a silent, when I take a second acrobatics here, if the acrobatics had the condition of changing stances also gives you block because you have mental fortress. I would say I might take the acrobatics. Let's say instead of it's changing stance, it says discard a card, gives you six block in this weird analogy. And inner piece is acrobatics. I'd probably take it because of the six block mental fortress. The ritual dagger is there. It's pretty good on the watcher. Yes, that was a weird analogy and I think it made sense. I do want to perhaps skip this this fight and go here because if we hit a shot then we get a heal lose conclude sure you know conclude has been kind of awkward I like that indignation into wallop what do you guys think indignation wallop here absolutely absurd absolutely not absurd We have Ritual Dagger coming up. But here's the thing. We really don't want this because you can't attack next turn, so. I guess, honestly, I could have just blocked because he wasn't doing, he was only doing 42. I had full block. That's such good damage. Wait, if you do Vaults, you can make him have a miss an intangible turn, right? He keeps this for one extra turn. All right, Sigur I'm sorry. This is the perfect time to do Vault, though. This is the perfect time to do Vault. Ah, it was a nice time until now it's not. This is kind of awkward. I might just just hold on here, and I'm not too worried, to be honest. I'm fine here. Oh Jesus Christ! Um, it's a lot of damage, dude. If I use it, I get healing, and but I'm scared he's gonna drop a potion and I can't do anything about it. Indignation. Ritual dagger scaling, there's something there. See, this is what I mean, I, I really should've just used these potions. Like the power potion, for instance, get the healing from Toy Onithopter, and then I get another potion. Now I'm just missing Devil Form. Okay, that's really good. Enter Divinity Stance. Is that better than Cultist Potion? Might be. It might be. Cultist gives me strength every single turn. I mean, the ritual gives me strength every single turn. The one one strength uh, demon form. Divinity, I think is better. Okay, give me a shop here. Nope. Shop in Act Four. Uh, what do you guys think? I'm gonna rest anyways. This gives me full heal, but I wanna rest anyways. Okay, only if I feel like I'm gonna toke instead. Am I gonna toke instead? What am I toking? At this point, maybe I get rid of Bowling Bash. It's good in Act 4 Elite 
but also like not that great. So I could toke it out. I can get the full heal and then toke out Bowling Bash. And then deck is kind of nice. Because we're getting decent card draw with Devil Form, Energy, and then Wallops. I don't like how it makes me lose 16 max HP though. I mean, that brings us down to 75 HP. Which I guess is pretty normal, but I like using my HP as a resource. This is basically saying, okay, you're going to get full heal, right? But you're going to get down to 75 H max HP. But the caveat is that you'll be able to remove a card. So there's more than meets the eye in this event. It's like, remove a card to lose 15 max HP or 16, but also be full heal. If I'm resting, I'm healing for like 27, a random number. That's what just came to mind. 27 was the number, right? So I would have had more life going into the boss and I would have one less bowling bash. So it probably was better to just remove. But this makes it better for the heart in Act 4. By not taking that, I'm hoping that I'm doing okay for the heart. Let's use this potion here. Oh my god. So here's my philosophy. I have Devil Form in the deck, but I don't have Fasting. It might be better to take Fasting here than do Double Deva. Because what am I going to do with all this energy? I can only play so many cards a turn. And this gives my card quality, like better card quality. Because of the, um... You can only play a limited amount of cards, and now they're going to have more dexterity and strength attached to it. This is also a turn one Devil Form, which is kind of nuts. Which I could then use to do things with like Calm, Inner Peace, Card Draw. But still, my quality of my block is not that good. This helps the quality. Mm. 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 Do we vault? We do our vaults now and let the Deva stand up. I forgot that I have Instance Burner. I'm a, such a bonobo, I swear. I am the bonobo supreme, dude. I like Dash. I think vaulting now is a huge mistake. Oh, but I, do I keep my intangible? I don't, right? Yeah, yeah. My bad. We don't talk about that. We do not talk about that. Got Devil Form again. So now we're at Indignation. I think we just end turn here. I got a lot of energy. Oh, I did keep my intangible, which, which is nice. I did keep it, but... Alright, so let's do this. I wants to do eruption into wallop, but I probably know better. Eruption is not too bad here, honestly. Eruption wallop protects. How much is this gonna be? 24 block. Like the eruption wallop kind of counteracts kind of counteracts this altogether, no? We want to be in Wrathform anyways. I 
indignation. That's pretty good. All this excess energy, like I said, like fasting is just better because it's more card quality. All this excess energy doesn't do anything for me. Let's draw cards. I can keep weakening him. This would be a good time to go into wrath form, guys. Holy shit. This is a good time to do wrath form. Look how much damage we have if we're in wrath. I want to kind of, part of me wants to use the four cards. Yo, Lotharina with the Twitch Prime, 13 months. Welcome back. Thank you so much. All right. So we go Wrath here. It's really so awkward. We're getting very close to... Um, we're attacking now, right? Coming up. Did we use Ritual Dagger already? We didn't use Ritual Dagger. We could do Divinity, guys. Alright, so I could I could enter peace and then do inner peace and then see what my options are. Right? How much damage do I have? 38. 38 plus this. I already used Ritual Dagger, yeah, because I, I said I wasn't planning to use it because it just wanted to clear my hand. I could do Vigilance and Inner Peace and draw, but then we're not going to be in Vulnerable, right? So right now we have 18, 38. It's 56, not enough. Divinity Form could do it, but I don't really want to waste that, you know? So what could I draw into here? Your head out, 5 a.m. is really no bueno. Night. Hey, take care, Mr. Len. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Sleep tight. I don't know. Divinity does kill him. And then I don't have to worry about this, and I can just move on to the next fight with no potions. Can I win this without having to waste Divinity? Because then he's going to heal back up to 240. I mean, I do have a lot of damage in my deck with Sands of Time and Signature Move. There's a world in which we get lethal without having to waste Divinity. I do not like the draws coming up right now. I know I have Pendant coming up, but here's the thing. I want to kill him now before he heals up. You know, and Divinity, I'm pretty sure Divinity just killed him, right? I, if I'm doing the math. I think Divinity just kills him. Does, does, do I get 85 damage with Divinity? But I can't really draw into anything useful here. I know for a fact that if I don't. I mean, do we feel like we got through the worst of the fight and now the deck just operates really well because we have things like Sands of Time much cheaper, our whole deck's upgraded, we have a lot of energy so we can draw like crazy. I mean, we have things like Wrath Form, Signature Move, Sands of Time. I'm pretty sure we can do that. Indignation. I think we just do Divinity now and we win. Or am I underestimating the deck? Make sure we can do vulnerable. I 
Does he reset his weekend? He does, right? Uh, basically, what I'm, I'm thinking about if I can like, end this fight without the very here. It's risky, right? Do I get money if I Twitch Prime? Yeah, I do, man. I do get it. So it's free for you to Twitch Prime stuff and I get money from it. Let's try to draw a rat form. I mean, I already wasted a power pot for this fight. I feel bad wasting Divinity, but Divinity just ends it right now and maybe the next fight's easier altogether. Say divinity for Dono Deca though, because I feel like I might need to do Dono Deca fight. You know, 240 damage is not that hard to do. Bit the bullet. I bit the bullet. The heart. I'm, I'm worried about this fight. Wow, touch the hand is getting wasted, unfortunately. Mind blasts. Mind blast for windmill strike. What do I want to have in the deck? Mind blast does decent damage. Windmill strike. Still too expensive to play. We have Deva form, but I think mind blast is the better card. And that's why I'm doing this. Unfortunately. I still need more weaken. <laughs> the weaken is so important. God, how nice would it be if I could get double weak in there? We still removed a lot of those things though, that's not bad. We want to get double form out and play it, right? How risky is it to do this? If I play double form, then I... I guess I could exit my stance, get some block, play double form, and then get... So this is three energy. Two, I get back up to four. I can play another card and double form. It's not the end of the world. Okay. All right, now we just gotta start getting the damages. We can keep. This is really good, because now we get indignation. This is really, really, really good. And I can keep the intangible for next turn, right? This is really good. Dagger. I think Wave of the Hand is really good to get all the weaken right now, but this might be a Ritual Dagger turn because we have Pendip coming up. I feel like I kind of wasted some, some of my damage there. I don't want to risk it, I kind of want to do Empty Body. But there's also Wallop coming up. And Wallop does more damage. There's more block if I have more damage. You leaving, Kama? Good night, Kama. I'll try to be on earlier for you. I 
I feel fine about this taking one damage because I want to keep this blocks up. And we'll draw back into them. Damn, that's a really bad mind blast. Wall up inner peace. It doesn't auto renew, yeah, it doesn't auto renew. That is true. Inner peace first. Inner peace again. Stack this instance burner. All right, so now I got to change the game plan. So if I stack the instance burner, I want it at four because the turn two of the Act Four Elite is really hard. Right now it's at turn one of Act Four Elite, which is I guess isn't that bad. Turn one is still mitigating damage, but turn one I don't really care about mitigating damage because I have Ancient T set and I have extra energy, so I feel like I'm kind of okay there. So then I have to slow down this fight and I have to restack it. And I don't know if I want to do that. Hmm. I can also get pendant stacked here. Fuck. Yeah, I can kill him and then get it for turn one of the actual lead. Is it possible to stack it without having to um He doesn't he's not getting any more strength, right? So I have a lot of block coming up. I guess I could try to wait and stall. I think she's strong, I'm figuring it out. Yeah, I think I can wait here, guys. Stall it till turn four, right? I just stole it. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. Now that's where I want it to be. Four is perfect for the Act 4 Elite. Act 4 Elite is the hardest on turn two. And my deck has some sort of setup. I'm gonna use the bathroom. We get a heal going into the shop and we have a lot of gold. I'm feeling really good. I think we get rid of Bowling Bash. Yes, Bowling Bash is pretty good against Act 4 Elite, but it's pretty bad against the heart. And I guess the Act 4 Elite, I'd rather draw into things like my Vault sooner and just do things like Wallop. Saints of Time, Signature Move, perhaps, right? Bowling Bash could go here. Because we're going to heal for what? Full HP. Exactly, there's Act 4. If you haven't been around for a while, Act Mission Point Act 4. It's been a while. It's been around for some time now. So yeah, Bowling Bash is like really good against the Act 4 Elite, but also we have Ritual Dagger and stuff. So here's what we're doing. Token. Setting up for the heart, guys. I'll be right back. You guys decide in the shop. Prey gives me the ability to go into Divine Stance, Divinity, yes. Prey gives me the ability to go into Divinity with Prostate. I know it is Prostrate, but, you know. 
and it gives me insight which is not bad because we have depot form so insights aren't the worst potions like power potions are really good i think draw potions are really good as well I think trying to go in for divinity form seems a little unlikely, right? I do want power and draw putt. Nirvana. I don't scry enough. I mean, I had third eye. Once I play, so my card is 20, my 27 card deck, but once I play a lot of my stuff, my deck is really small and streamlined. The deck is really small and streamlined. In fact, I think once I play everything, pray and pr Prostate is going to be seen more often than you think. This gets rid of itself. This gets rid. Uh, it replaces itself. These two get rid of itself. That gets rid of itself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cards get rid of themselves. I also can skip this, and it becomes eight. Lots of cards of inner peace. Do another one tried in German? I could try it in German, sure, I don't mind that. Nirvana of Prey. I don't scry enough, right? Pray, boys. Let's pray. All right, guys. Let's focus up here. Wow. I actually don't want to do vault because if I do vault, then I'm wasting my tangible for nothing. You know what I mean? Bless up. This could be a turn where I draw pot, but why waste it? Ritual Dagger is looking for it to be a thing. Ritual dagger is looking to be a thing. This is ritual dag's time. Indignation vaults. Oh wait. Indignation ritual dagger. Ah, it's not enough. Okay, it might be worth to not care about ritual dagger and just play it now. So we do ritual dagger and then we do vault, right? Hey, nice. I do eruption now. Yeah, I fucked it up, huh? I kind of want to card draw cards because I, I could potentially get into divinity form. So that gives me calm and to more card draw into card draw. Do I care about killing them now? I 
this is only a good play if like they are gonna give me this is a good play if they're gonna give me what's it called potion we bless up here we bless up we just bless up now We just bless up now and stay in divinity. Does Vault keep divinity in going? Is it better to do eruption than pray? Entering Wrath seems fine. Oh, this is terrible, guys. Because you want to kill them now. And now I have to stall the fight for like crazy amount of turns. Now I got to stall the fight like crazy amount of turns, guys. Jesus Christ! I'm supposed to end this at three or three and three or four. This is supposed to be at three or four. That's annoying. The relic on the left of the charged hammer. Charged hammer. Sure, I'm not sure what you're saying. We can bless up here. Oh, fusion hammer. I gotta just stall. I mean, what's the best way to stall here? I don't get it. So many things I could do. Just gotta block. Alright, we can end now because this is totally fine. Alright, boys. And we got a potion, so that's really good. Okay. With the second prostate. With the second prostate, we can come twice as much. No. Very crude joke. With the second prostate, we could, um... We could actually enter divinity form pretty often because... We have... We have a semi-small deck, decent card draw, and then we're gonna have prey as well on top of it. Is it worth it? I think tranquility... The ability to enter calm is also very useful. But more divinities. I don't know, it could, it could be pretty good. It's also more block. Second prostate is hilarious. Well, also protect is good block as it is. This gains six block when you change stances, yes. But we already enter calm so often, but it also helps us with the inner peace. Okay, let's do this. I forgot I can get healing from that. All right, guys, if I lose my five HP, blast me, blast me to hell and back. So, like I want to do the power now, 
but I can heal for 10 if I use both potions, right? Like, I'm conflicted. Do I do the power potion on turn two? You only like to spoon when you're tra when tranquil? I mean, I guess that makes sense. You I like to spoon when I'm relaxed as well. We don't want to draw into any of this next turn. We do want to draw into Seeds of Time, but we don't want to draw into any of that, right? I feel like entering Wrath is really bad. Doing Power Potion now potentially is really good, depending on what it is, but I can also get 5 HP from it. I don't know. We gotta balance out what's better. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, I think the 5 HP, I'm gonna sacrifice both the 10 HP I potentially could have gotten. It's hard to return and use Scry. Whenever you enter Wrath, draw two cards. Whenever a card is created, upgraded. What's the best thing here? Card draw or Scrying? Scrying can help me have more control over how much block I'm getting and the combos I'm setting up. Is card draw that good for us? More card draw for more, for more divinity stuff? The more we're drawing, the more we're getting prostates and prey? I like the ability to set up things. I would have loved to make him vulnerable. Kunai is really nice. I like Kunai here. I do want to get Sands of Time st building up, so I want to take it. But I need block right now, right? Wallop is block. Sands of Time, maybe we can scale this up another time. It's going to be a long time until we see it again, though. So I, we, I think we take the, the L. Here's my philosophy, all right? The first two turns are the hardest. So we could try to scrap both Sense of Time and the Sender's Bane because we want to make sure we have block. But by getting rid of Sender's Bane now and holding up to Sense of Time, we're making the rest of the fight easier. So it's like a sacrifice. To do Kunai stuff. This I don't really have the cards for Kunai. Scratch pretty good for the burns and wounds in, that, in any event. We got the weak in here. That's not bad. Do I take one damage so that I can get even more weakened on him? That's worth it, yeah. Yeah, he's he is now official character in the game. Yep. We could do Vault. Oh. Mr. Adekvai with a tier two for two Speaking months. payment systems. That was hard. Thank you for saving me from depression during this tough autumn. Jeremy, my best wishes to you. Thank you, man. Thank you for the resub. I'm glad you're feeling better. Hang in there, buddy. I'm glad I could help you out in whatever way I could. Thank you for the support. Um, yeah. We don't vault on a turn like this, right? I think we wait. We can we can hold on to vault for next turn. Vault on another day. All right, we can do the mantra stuff, or we could try it against devil form. Inner Peace helps us find Devil Form. Do I want to do Prey as much as possible? Because Prey is going to be a really big... I don't think we want Portal Influence right now. I mean, we do want to do damage, but... We really want to get Devil Form out. And I do want to get Prey going, and I want to get Inner Peace going. 
And that's very nice that I can get that right now. I'm forced to use a block here. Which sucks that I'm getting rid of my... Fuck, this sucks, because I'm getting rid of... A good block. We can probably get Double Dab Form right here. Fuck. God damn, this is actually hard. This is actually hard. I can't play Double Form right now, actually. And the next turn we have Vault and Double Form together, and we're gonna take so much damage. Holy shit, next turn we're taking so much damage with Double Form Vault. We should have drawn that earlier. It's looking really bad. How do I salvage that? I think what we have to do is just only play Devil Form. Because this next turn looks so bad. So we have to take damage here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Holy shit. This is really awkward hands. But drawing void is okay because we have a miracle. So that's fine. We just have to draw into double form now. And we cannot draw into this next turn. I just I just we can't do that. Your ultimate favorite is SLS, but Agent was also good was also S what's SLS? So okay, real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The only problem here is, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm taking so much damage to do this. I'm gonna have to take beat to death to the face. have to do that and then I have to play talk to the hand as well I took so much damage there okay we could Indignation, just to, <laughs> just to get tranquility out of our hand, just that like, gives us block. Tranquility gives us block. We do indignation, tranquility, just to get the block. Do we want to waste that combo? How am I gonna start getting prey played though? I could have took the opportunity to play sense of time, but it's okay. We're not doing any damage right now. This is terrible. Slightly fire. What would I do with inner peace right now? Mata el torre. Uh, so we're taking some damage to play this. I guess Sense of Time is actually really good because I take three blocks for Sense of Time. Uh, got the Weekend, we got Inner Peace. These are all good cards. By playing this first, I have the ability to get rid of both of his artifacts. Price state's coming in big. This is good. We get a pretty decent block out of this for two mana. I'm never getting Kunai. I could probably get Kunai now with foreign influence. I take it back. I take it back. Oh, I didn't play Cut Through Fate. <laughs> right. 
Alright guys. Let me just try to win this without dying miserably. Hand of Greed. We don't want these cards, right? I mean it's damage, but... I don't want Hand of Greed in my deck. A double Vault coming up, this is not bad. <laughs> Plastic Cutter Free. We still have Vaults in our deck, so you know it. Looking on the up, up and up. I don't want any of these. And I want to see Mr. Dagger for another day, but I also don't want to keep drawing into it. Feels bad, man. I don't want both vaults right now. I don't really need this. Protect just for now. So is this the time where we do eruption and then vaults? Because we need to start doing damage, right? And the next turn we have Instant Spinner. There's a world in which we just take the block, we take the hit here. We have 17 blocks, so 17 block on top of this would be 60. We're taking 13. We're taking 13 damage if I if I just leave it like this. Is that worth it? So now we can go divinity form. But do I want to save divinity form for another day? Well, I can do vulnerable and then divinity. So that's kind of good. You make him vulnerable and then divinity. You only take one damage for playing this first. It means we can keep, keep protect. We have like no card draw. Um, fuck it. And now we do. Does it? Does it? Does the mantra overlap, guys? Does the mantra overlap? It does. Easy. He's already weakened, right? He's already weakened. Should I do vaults here? Because now we're starting to pop off. He's vulnerable. We can start popping off. We have pendant. What, what we want to save pendant for a wallop, right? Wallop is coming. I wasn't in... We don't talk about it. I don't have to save vault right now. I have full block. I feel like if I have full block, I don't waste vault. Okay, how much do I have here? This is gonna be eight, eight plus six. It's 14. I take nine damage. That seems okay, right? 
I take less than nine damage. I have full block. But then we're out of calm. If we have full block, I think we don't we don't waste vault. That's my philosophy. So we don't want to do inner peace things because we're not going to be in calm. And I think the chance of me being in calm right now is holding to protect is not bad though. Mm. Mm. It's a bad turn though. Maybe the hand is not useful anymore. We got Kunai here. That's really good. Really good turn. And we have Divinity coming up, and we still have... We have Divinity right now, and we still have the ability to do... Um, so much energy. It's ridiculous. Are we doing Divinity now? Why not? Still have Vault coming up, so this is not bad. Still fight guys, still fight. <laughs> yeah, it's energy scaling, exactly. Do you want to do eruption for this right now? Is this the time to do eruption? I mean, eruption gives us six block. I feel like this is not time to do eruption. This is actually really scary. Fuck me. All right, let's see what happens here. Okay. Um, maybe we can get like some pen nib wallet things going on. How are we feeling right now? 60, 90 damage. That's a lot of damage. How do we survive this? Is divinity into wallop the only way? I think divinity into wallop is the only way, no? Oh, we have vault. So we have vaults. If I discard everything and keep the vaults, then we can do divinity wall up to block next turn, or we can try divinity wall up now. But then we, do, we have to draw into prey, which is not guaranteed. But it's worth a shot, right? We got more wallops. We can save wallop for the next turn, because the next turn has to be a lot of damage as well, no? Now, these are official pictures. Oh, we got, we got the divinity form, okay. And then we can vault at the end of it, right? I would like to make him vulnerable, but fuck it. This feels so bad to vault when you have all this damage. I should have played this. Like, are we vaulting here with all this when we have full block? The next turn kind of sucks. Is there, a way, is there a world in which we win next, lose next turn? No, no, there's no way, right? Because he doesn't reset his invincible if we vault. 
there's no reason to vote. There's no way we lose next turn. Did I have lethal if I did indignation? Oh god, guys, don't talk about it, please. Gee, mistakes abound. Papega left and right. Uh, the gradient is still here. We did it. Whew, that was stressful. Man, that was a two hour run. Not bad. Kind of clean. Two oh two oh two zero zero. Very clean. Very clean. Perfect timing.